All right. So, not gonna lie, it took kind of forever for this thing to get here. Um, I ordered it a while ago. I uh, feel like I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Um, the small rig, uh, what is this even called? Is the, the AD01, it's their first tripod. Well, not their first, I think they've had others. They're all puny, and this one's supposed to be decent. I have this uh, 501, 502. What is this one? Man, I don't know what any of my tripods are called. This Manfrotto thing. It cost me like 350 bucks. Uh, it's been pretty diehard for a long time. I really dig it, and uh, but it's like 350 bucks, 400 bucks, depending on where you get it, how much it costs uh, at where you get it or whatever. But uh, this little small rig tripod, I feel like it is um, at a price point at $160, I think it's too good to be true. Like it really can't be any good. Who needs a knife when you have a screwdriver, right? So I kind of want to, I'm just going to pop it open, give you a little bit of a first impression um so tell you what i think first off it comes with a bag i see right away i didn't realize i didn't really do much research on this uh on what it came with or anything uh, <laughs> not trying to be flip it and throw the box off it just fell off uh actually it's a pretty decent looking bag dig that little rubber small rig thing um, you know, it's not an expensive bag, uh, but at the same time, is that as loose as it gets? Oh, oh, yeah, that's not bad. Silica gel, toss that in the trash over there and let's open this up and see what's in it. I'm pretty excited. So like I said, uh, I mean, it's weird. If your name's not Craig, uh, free balling, <laughs> then you don't have a lot of tripods. Uh, and generally your budget is spent on other things. Meanwhile, uh, I'm making fun of a friend of mine, you know, he'll get it when he watches this video, if he gets it this far. Here we go. Here's the tripod. It's in a bag. And it already looks kind of good. Not going to lie. What's in this little compartment? There's the, the, the handle, small rig, it, it, nothing, <laughs> small rig can't send you something without sending you, uh, you know, these, these, these hex tools, whatever they're called. So just one little pouch in there, another silicon gel, toss in the trash. So actually a decent bag. Uh, that's not bad. So pull the handle out that goes in the trash. Um, I mean, handles kind of light. Not bad. Some plastic there. Nice rubber thing with some hand grips, whatever. So that looks kind of cool. This is what I'm excited about. Let's open up. We got a little uh, bread tie here. Twisty tie, just like you'll find on literally bread bags in the United States, at least. And let's pull out the tripod. So, kind of cool. I dig it. Uh, it actually, it, it's decently lightweight and it doesn't feel cheap. Those are definitely plastic. So it has these little leg locks, which are kind of cool. Let's see, there's three of them, you know, because it has three legs. 
There we go. Well, that was lucky. I managed to put it on the table um, and spread it at its lowest height without, you know, without it, you know, while it still clears the table. Anyway, we have a little bag up here covering the head. So let's take that bag off. I'm assuming the plate is up here. I, I feel like they expect you, this isn't for shipping. I, I think they expect you to put this back on the tripod head. I imagine that this thing is gonna get lost immediately, but uh, I don't know, maybe if there's the spot that I could hang it from when I'm, you know, when I'm done. Let's see. If I stand up, am I still on frame? Let me adjust it. All right. All right, that's good. Cool, cool. All right, so we have this plate. And then I'm assuming, oh, oh, okay. Because it's supposed to, so you, you unlock it more. That's right. It's a, it's a top loading. So I'm trying to slide it off backwards when what you need to do is slide it off or just pull it off, which is kind of cool. So a little thing, standard and four RS2. That's kind of cool. So you can, you know, they're a little, they're a day late and a dollar short with the Ronin S2, um, you know, with the three coming out, but most people have the two right now. So there's the plate, decent looking plate. Oh, just out of curiosity, will it fit on the Manfrotto? Um, yes. So yeah, it'll fit on this tripod too. Not bad. All right. So let's, uh, throw the arm on little handle. Uh, I like that this is a bowl that you can level it like that little leveling adjustments. And then, uh, see what we got here. We have the plate. So does it point at the lens? It doesn't point at the lens, but I'm assuming it's up this way. Throw that on there real quick. I knew I was going to need a screwdriver. Line it up. You can put one or two screws in here. It has the little rubber thing on the plate. So that should just uh, load like that. No, no. Is I wrong about the direction of the plate? Yep. All right. So does this side work? Yeah, it works. So it would be nice if they had, um, if they had an arrow pointing at which way, you know, the plate faced. Let's flip it over here. Let's throw a lens on it. Unlock it. And with a little bit of a balance there. So there's no, uh, there's no like counterweight or anything. It's just spring loaded. It's a little springier than, uh, than the Manfrotto, but it tilts down more. That's cool. Does it tilt up more? I guess if you adjust the arm, uh, about the same. This could be the tripod I recommend to people just getting in the game. I don't know. I, I can't tell you yet, but, uh, I mean, it's a little nicer than the problem. No counterweights just mean it does. It means it does that. It just goes back in place. If you have a proper fluid head with counterweights and you paid $12,000 for it, like Craig did bring his name up twice now, uh, it'll just stay in place. You know, you point it, once you get it balanced and you counterweight it properly, it'll just stay in place. And then, you know, but this one, 
It doesn't have that, but it is nice and smooth. And of course, if you want it to stay in place, you can lock it. And I appreciate that the lock is a nice big knob here on the side. And when you go to loosen it, it doesn't shake anything. So that's good. I noticed that right away. That's one thing that drives me crazy about this one is that sometimes when you go to loosen the knob, uh, that locks the head in place, uh, the, 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 the tilt axis, uh, it will shake the whole camera. Not bad at all. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see how tall this thing gets. Move the table over a little. So stage one. All right, so here's the deal. At this first stage, it's already pretty much the same height as this uh, Manfrotto 190 or the legs, the 190X. It's pretty much the same height as that, which leads me to believe, oh yeah. It goes quite a bit taller. It feels relatively sturdy. No one's going to complain about that. Not for $160. Now we just have to see how long it holds up, which I can't tell you today. There's no way I can tell you how long it'll hold up today if it's, if it's worth buying in the long term. But I can tell you in the short term, it is... Uh, it is very clearly a decent tripod. And of course you could hang a weight there. Oh, oh, I got some slippage here. Look at that. Already have some slippage. So let's see, look behind these leg locks and they provided a little tool and there's a little, let's see which one is it? Is it the smaller one or the medium one? I can, yeah, boom, one little twist and yeah, not slipping anymore. So definitely go around and tighten up all your, all your legs a little bit or make sure they're tight. Yeah. Just one, you know, one tenth of a turn and there's no, it's not slipping down anymore. So it's good that you could actually fix things. I mean, it wasn't really broken. It just. You know, sometimes tripods get loose and it's nice to have those little things. Nice big latches. I like that. They're very clearly visible. Has the spreader, which the spreader is nice because honestly, without a spreader, sometimes the legs will go a little nuts. Um, Uh, which will cause issues. Um, and the spreader's metal, but all the, all the pieces that hold this tripod together are plastic, but it's nice and light. It's pretty cool already without even going out and testing it. I could tell you this thing is worth 160 bucks. Uh, I would say they priced it about 150 to $200 less than what it really should be for the tripod and the head. And the fact that it's, I mean, it's a small bowl, but it's still a bowl that you could level right there. Boom. This thing is not a $160 tripod. This is a $300 tripod minimum. Not much more than $300, but does it beat the Manfrotto? I don't know. You know, I've had this thing for five years now, six years almost. Uh, ask me in six years. If this thing beats this, who knows? It's hot. I don't know if it's hot where you are, but it's hot in here right now. I have the air conditioner in the other room and I turned it off so I could record audio in here. And yeah, it's hot. Anyway, that's my quick little unboxing of the Manfrotto tripod. 
It's pretty awesome. Hopefully this video is in focus. I'll talk to y'all later.